Welcome to this video where we're going to still be talking about DALI infographics because I honestly believe this is the biggest leap forward that we've had in terms of ChatGPT SEO in a long time. So if you don't know, they are slowly rolling out DALI. I believe that they're rolling it out to business accounts first, but I don't know if that's completely true. It'll probably be certain countries first, et cetera, et cetera. So like, please don't just leave a comment saying, how can I unlock it? Because I, I don't know. Okay, you'll just you'll either get it or you won't get it soon. I don't really know how it works. So basically, last night I tried to do something a little bit more in depth. So I have an analogy about SEO that I've been telling people recently. We wanted to see whether it could make a nice uh, a nice infographic. So basically, create an infographic with craft branding that represents SEO as a rainforest, where websites with small amounts of content generally don't rank, just as plants at the bottom of a rainforest do not get sunshine or rain. On the flip side, a taller tree will take all the rain and sunshine, which represents traffic on Google. Use white as a primary color, use the Poppins font, and use these colors as secondary colors. Now, when we were doing this experiment last night, a few couple of very interesting things happened, which I am going to try and repeat in this video. Um, so the first thing that happened was that the design wasn't able to be made because we had apparently broken the guidelines of DALI 3 or, DAL or ChatGPT broke its own guidelines because it wrote the prompt, not me. Uh, so we'll see if that happens again, because I do have a workaround for that. If uh, it doesn't happen in this one specifically, then I will show you how we worked around that anyway. I have a feeling it will. Yeah. So look, it hasn't worked because you can see this exclamation mark right here. So this is something that's happening to a lot of people. I apologize, but I was unable to generate images based on the prior description due to our content policy. Please provide a new or modified request and I'll be happy to assist you further. Please modify your prompts to make them follow your own guidelines. So this is how you can work around this. Basically you can use ChatGPT, and this is what's so powerful about DALI 3 inside ChatGPT specifically is that ChatGPT is actually controlling what is given to DALI 3. So it's almost like you don't even have to think anymore, which is insane. You just have to kind of give it a basic description and ChatGPT will make whatever you want with it. So let's see if it works now. If it doesn't, then we've got a problem. It should work. It worked last night when I did this. I'm kind of worried it's not going to work now, but it does seem to be going through. So we'll give this a little bit of time. Okay, so it has gone through. Perfect, just as I thought it would. And yeah, you can see the results are amazing. You can kind of see these are like the websites that just don't have a lot of content. And then the trees at the top are the ones with all the SEO and all the content. This is kind of what I'm trying to show in this analogy. This is amazing. Really, really beautiful. Uh, and it's not too busy as well. So what Rowan was saying last night was a lot of them were a bit too busy. There was too many things in the pictures. This is good. This is nice. And this is really, really good too. Although this looks more like a logo, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you the examples from last night. Um, but before we do that, let's just show you what else we did last night. So after that, we said, can you think of any other, uh, other analogies that are similar to represent the, uh, ah, digital marketing ecosystem. So this is what really, really is interesting. So I'm going to press stop here because it's going to start. <clears throat> it's going to start doing this, but what I actually wanted to do is put them directly into Dali. So this is something you can do. If it starts actually writing and you want it to just be generating images, you can just press stop and you can say, put them directly into Dali. So I guess this is more of like a basic guide on how to use ChatGPT inside, um, sorry, how to use Dali inside ChatGPT. So while they're loading, let's just quickly have a look at the chat that we were having last night with Dali, exact same prompts, but just the images were completely different. I absolutely loved these images here. I just thought they were just so beautiful and amazing. But this is what Rowan meant about being a bit too busy. So you could probably remove like most of this, to be honest, and just leave the important stuff. And then if you didn't see my video last night, I will show you how you can edit this, but basically with Canva. So let's go here. Canva. 
So you do need Canva Pro for this. You could probably use Photopia, but I, I just don't know how right now. I'm, I'm, I've got Canva Pro, so I'm just using Canva Pro. You could probably do this on Photopia very, very easily. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing it with Canva. So Canva has a new thing. Again, I did show this yesterday, so I'm just going to be very, very quick. Um, they have this premium grab text option. I'm not, I'm not affiliated with Canva, by the way. I'm not doing this to help them in any way. I just, I just like Canva. So <laughs> yeah, so these were really, really nice. Obviously, the text is a bit messed up. So the two things you can do is you can press grab text and change the text. So hello. And another thing you can do is you can use the magic eraser option. So let's do magic eraser. So it already did it, basically. It already got rid of a lot of the stuff. So now this is almost an infographic that's ready to go. So now all you would have to do is just put words here. So like big websites here, um, you know, what, uh, yeah, and then at the bottom, smaller websites, basically newer websites. So yeah, then we did exactly the same thing. Okay, now come up with four different ideas for infographics that attempt to describe the SEO ecosystem. But yeah, look at that. Wow, that's really nice. I don't know why there's a shark at the top. <laughs> Last night it was a little bit different, but these are all really, really beautiful. But the problem with this is you would kind of have to think about what to write in each of these so it's a little bit more complicated but i just love these images okay this wasn't like it was last night at all it's really nice and that's just like a cool image that you could use honestly as a featured image in a blog post or something again it's the c1 so if we go down to the ones that it did yesterday this was very very cool i loved this um yeah, Rowan was blown away by this. He really wasn't expecting the uh, the quality here. But the the only thing it didn't do, which is why this is what we were testing in the first place. So before I go into that, one idea I did have is just running an Instagram account with these pictures, just editing them quickly and then writing a, an Instagram description like that. But yeah, one thing we were actually, one specific thing we were trying to do, which it apparently can't do yet, is we were specifically trying to brand it. So Craft obviously is a digital marketing agency. They have branding. They use white as their primary color. They always use the Poppins font. Rowan is obsessed with it. And then they use these two colors. So we tried to feed that in to Dali, but it seems like it can't really do the colors just yet. Although saying that, I just had an idea. So let's test this live. So we'll say this one here. You can't drag and drop, okay. From the first set of infographics, can you add these colors instead? I don't think this is going to work. I uh, I just think that it doesn't fully understand um, colors and prompts and things. So yeah, we'll just check this out. The reason I'm talking so much about this is because I I was waiting for infographics to be able to be made because infographics are one of the best, except video, they're like the second best way to... Basically, the, the internet is like an attention economy and infographics are the second best way to get the most attention because people like them so google pushes them up and they're probably going to be more and more used with sge another little bit of news is i actually just randomly got access to sge on um in italy so why is kiton so expensive so there we are i suit but let's see if this is gonna knock me off yeah look so I have the featured snippet, but then suddenly we're not even listed here. I mean, we're fourth. So the chances of them going to someone else or us not getting the click have just gone up massively. So yeah, with SGE coming, I think images like this, imagine if we had a better image here, like an infographic, then potentially we could be ranking first here. I don't know. That's just, I'm just, you know, spitballing. So yeah, you can see it can't really do colors, but that is really beautiful. If you wanted to spend some time making this into something useful, then you definitely could. It would take a long time though. Looks so nice. Anyway, that's going to be it for now, guys. I'm really, really enjoying playing around with this. And shout out to Rowan for spending an hour with me yesterday running through this. Uh, we were both really, really curious. It's just unfortunate the audio was so messed up on that recording that we had. Thank you so much for watching. I really recommend that people experiment with this when they get access to Dali. I'm sorry if you don't have access yet and you're watching all these videos and you're feeling a bit jealous. I, I, I am sorry for that, but not sorry from my side. 
more like the Italian mi dispiace, I'm sorry for you. Because I'm not sorry because it's not my fault, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, when you do get it, if you have it now, I suggest putting them on Pinterest, Instagram, in your blog posts, on your homepage, on your pillar pages, everywhere. Don't shy away from this. This is the future of SEO. Thank you for watching and peace out.